The Supreme Court is expected to decide on several significant and controversial cases in the coming weeks. They include rulings on affirmative action, LGBTQ rights, and President Biden's student loan forgiveness program. NBC's Bree Jackson is live in Washington, D.C. And Bree, what's at stake here? Good morning, Maureen. So one of the key cases being watched involves student loans and whether the Biden administration's plan to forgive up to $20,000 in debt will stand. From college admissions to LGBTQ rights, the Supreme Court is poised to weigh in on some of its most divisive cases by the end of July. Last year, the Dobbs opinion, which overruled Roe versus Wade, was decided on June 25th, so well toward the end of the term. So this is all business as usual. The future of President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan is on the line, a decision that could impact the financial futures of 40 million Americans. This is about economic mobility, being able to move forward in society as a multiracial democracy. We're also awaiting a key decision on affirmative action. Justices will decide the legality of race-conscious policies many universities and colleges use to admit students. Race alone doesn't account for why someone's admitted or not. I've heard the word uh, diversity quite a few times, and I don't have a clue what it means. The court, with its 6-3 conservative majority, is expected to rule on a major case concerning LGBTQ rights after a Christian web designer refused to provide services to same-sex couples. And the question is, can a website designer say, sorry, that's not my kind of marriage? This is not a hotel. This is not a restaurant. This is not a riverboat or a train. Uh, I'm interested in the intersection of public accommodations, law, and speech. The public is watching and waiting to see how the high court rules. And the rulings this week come as the nation marks one year since the conservative court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade and the legal right to an abortion. Maureen. And Bree, some states did not wait for the Supreme Court to weigh in on using race when it comes to admissions at public colleges and universities. Yeah, Maureen, that's right. So nine states have banned affirmative action from college admissions. That includes California, Florida, uh, Nebraska, as well as Indiana. All right. Bree Jackson, all these issues to watch. Thank you so much.